Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tori yeah. if you're new here and as Hi, you can yeah. see <laughs> by the title we are doing, okay we have a visitor, we're going to do some meals on a budget. So last week I showed you my grocery haul and I've been showing you my grocery hauls for years and how we like to save money but I really like to put that to the test and sometimes it's hard for me to film these types of videos but I will be showing you a few recipes this week and I will do the cost breakdown and go from there we like to try and eat clean we really try and save money and we also try not to stress out so I like to say we are 80 20 but there's a lot when it comes to food ingredients I even thought about doing a video where I break down food ingredients where we read a label and I show you how I shop so the kids are getting rowdy if you're new here I would love it if you hit the subscribe button I promise we're a good time but sometimes we're a bit chaotic and I would love it if you became part of our YouTube family Let's get into today's video. All right, it is a relatively cool day, so I have the ability to sit inside here and just, uh, well, stand inside here and cook. So I like to utilize most appliances. I'm gonna do a crock pot meal, maybe. We're gonna do the oven, and right now I'm just chopping up some vegetables to get ready, trying to work on social media, and also get my caffeine intake in, because I need it. But here's a general gist of what we're going for. We're gonna do sheet pan eggs, and that will be really easy to just pop onto to sandwiches and or a bagel, a burrito, just eating plain over potatoes, really anything. We do those most weeks. And then uh, for lunches, I want to do potato salad and crab cakes. We use tuna uh, and smoked salmon for that one. We're also going to do sheet pan sausage and veggies. That will be nice to just, again, put over rice or potatoes. And then for snacks, which we snack a lot, but we try and go high protein with it. We're going to do deviled eggs. I'm going to do white bean dip uh, with sweet basil pesto sauce and we're also going to do some Cheez-Its to go along with those. Uh, I'll show you how to make those. We're going to do a thing of rolls for maybe burgers later on in the week. We're going to do a loaf of bread. We're going to do protein bites and I have chili with a question mark and that would be going in the crock pot. We shall see if we get that far but right now again just preparing myself starting with chopping all of the veggies that I need and then we will just go through this rapid fire fingers crossed. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights all right, I just got done washing my eggs, a dozen eggs at the store. I don't know how much they are, but we have duck and chicken eggs here. You could just use regular eggs. I feel like they're inexpensive nowadays, but you never know. So try and get them on sale. A lot of people say, do you suggest buying chickens? I mean, I guess in the long run, you save a little bit of money and they're fun to watch and the kids absolutely love them. But I don't know. The duck eggs we love because they're higher in protein and just a better egg all around. So you could also use like whatever kind of eggs here that you want. But anyways, got mine all washed. I'm just using 10 eggs here, but you can use 12 if you want. I'm going to use the other eggs for those deviled eggs. So back to it. I'm just going to mix this in a bowl here and I'll show you how it goes. Alrighty, so I got all of the eggs in the bowl. I added some half and half, but you could do milk. You could even do water with this. And then I'm going to go in with my seasonings. I sped this video up just because I feel like a lot of people don't have time, <laughs> honestly. Uh, my views and all that have been down pretty low, so I'm trying to adjust things. Hope you don't mind. Uh, I did onion powder, salt, pepper, all those kinds of things. And then I just crinkled up my parchment paper here. And then I'm putting it on the sheet just so it kind of sticks down to the oil a little bit here. And then all I do is take that bowl of eggs and pour it on in there. I got this boy on my mind that I can't live without, always eyes I can't be. 
So as you saw, I ended up putting in some sausage and then onion and bell pepper, and then I baked it at 375 for around 15 to 20 minutes. Now I'm just taking a pizza cutter and just cutting it into squares. And like I said, it's super easy to put on bagels, which if you were here in the last video, it was my last grocery haul, you'll see that I paid $1.18 for those bagels or of course you can make them on your own so the cost of breakfast this week is you know close to six dollars and i feel like it's gonna feed us a lot so i'm excited you could put cheese in here if you wanted to i've even blended cottage cheese in there for some extra protein but again there's a lot of ways that you could go with this just keeping it simple and if you don't like eggs but it'd be real cool if you did <laughs> tell me if you get that reference. I will let you know if there are any alternatives, just comment. You told me there'd be better days and nothing that can pull us under. So breakfast is in the fridge for the week and now we are moving on into these little faux crab cakes. I believe people call them like poor man's crab cakes. My dad used to make them all the time, but you just need tuna. And I'm also adding some smoked salmon because I'm gonna add some Creole seasoning in here. I thought a nice smoky taste would be delicious. I have a chicken egg in there, bell pepper, onion, and then just to bulk it up, I am going to put half a can of a white bean. So I'm just doing chickpeas but you could do another can of tuna I just wanted to make them last a little longer and these are delicious with just some tartar sauce or even putting them on a bun with some remoulade and making like a po' boy sandwich they are very versatile so they're good to have on hand I like to also serve them over rice and make like a sushi bowl out of it but as you can see I just added about two tablespoons of flour in here and you could fry these but I just like baking them if I'm going to keep them for the week so this makes right around eight but if you made them thinner you could probably make ten so Again, very, very versatile recipe, and let me know if you give this one a try. It's definitely a family staple. But know that I was born as a fighter. We fail, we fail, but we're better than that. We're better than that. I know, you know, so I. Next on the list, while everything is cooking and I'm trying to clean as I go, I'm gonna put in the sheet pan meal. So I have some sweet potatoes here. I have a little bit of that bison sausage that I got for $1.99. I have some onion and bell pepper, and then I just have some frozen broccoli. I did salt, pepper, and then I did a curry powder as well as some avocado oil. And this will be great for the week because we could serve it over rice, over quinoa we can even mix it in with our eggs there's a lot that you can do with sheet pan meals like this and while that cools off I just started getting the potatoes boiled and I'm going to make the white bean dip it really turned into a hummus so all I have here is some rinsed chickpeas I have about a half a cup of water and I have some sweet pesto sauce as well as some salt pepper chili powder and avocado oil if I didn't say that I don't have any tahini on hand right now but if you wanted to add that you can too I take my immersion blender and I did add some extra salt a little bit of lemon juice in here and uh, having a dance party to myself as usual but I ended up just serving this with some celery and some carrots but the cheese it's I really enjoy with this there's something about that cheddar cheese and the pesto I'm not really sure but it's very delicious and this will be a nice snack to have I also love making hummus toast and the kids really enjoy that too so that could be an alternative for breakfast
I'm kind of running out of room on my countertop here, but we're getting some bread started. I have about a tablespoon and a half of local honey. I have about two teaspoons of yeast, and then I have a cup of warm water, not hot, not cold, but warm. I'm going to let that set for around 10 minutes here. I'm coming back to it, adding some oil, but you could do grass-fed butter. I have salt. I have an egg. I'm going to mix that together, and then I'm going to start with my flours. It's flour, and it's right around three cups here. So I know it sounds excessive, but I need 70 to 80 times. This is a family recipe and I've always done it that way. And it comes out fluffy and delicious. So after that sets for an hour, I'm coming back to it. I have a pan here that has some olive oil on the bottom of it. I'm just punching this down and you kind of want this stickiness. That's how I can tell if it's ready. I just get some flour on my hands and then I roll these up so I can make bread with this. I can make you know some rolls like I'm going to show you here you can make hoagie rolls you can really do a lot with this this is also the base of my focaccia bread so if I'm making focaccia I will just roll it out in this pan here add some olive oil sometimes I let it get a little stickier than this but I just poke my holes in it and then we go from there so again this dough is very versatile it doesn't have to be just sandwich bread and I'm gonna let that rise for another hour and a half and they get super gigantic as you can see here i like to brush some melted butter on top and sometimes i add fresh garlic and parmesan or cinnamon sugar honestly these are so versatile i really think you should try them if you haven't already but i'm going to get these in the oven at 375 for around 13 minutes Now on to our homemade Cheez-Its. I have four ounces of cheddar cheese, just cubed here, as well as three ounces of the grass-fed butter. I have some everything but the bagel seasoning, just because we really enjoy that. And I added right around a half cup of flour. I put that in my little food chopper here, and that's the consistency you were looking for. I ended up adding probably a tablespoon of cold water, just because I wanted it to stick together a little more and it comes out just like a dough and then you're gonna roll it out with a rolling pin and then I move on to like a small glass and that really helps me I had the bright idea of making little ghosts and witch hats and pumpkins we're all about that spooky life here on our homestead but it ended up just melting together so it's fun if you want to do it that way my dough just needed to be a little cooler and I didn't have time so the burnt pieces are for me I love that and I'm just gonna break these apart and put them off to the side so we can dip them in our hummus and then moving on pretty quickly here to some potato salad so I had that potato just in the fridge cooling off and this is very basic like super basic I've been trying to get rid of this mayo for the longest time I had gotten it to help out with cooking for a uh, national police week and you know I'm, not, I'm just not a fan of the mayo because it has some bad seed oils in it yes I'm aware that I could make my own mayo but again in the spirit of using what we have and just getting things out of the refrigerator this is what we're using so I did put peas in there as well as dill and then some fresh oregano I did have some salt and pepper and Dijon mustard and then I'm just gonna mix everything together and go from there I have been known to cut up a few beef jerky 
pieces into my potato salads and that really adds a nice smoky element and it could replace bacon if you just have it on hand. And now I'm moving pretty quickly once again onto some of these power balls that I've turned into power bars and I'm just using chocolate protein powder from Just Ingredients. I have some organic quick oats. I have some local honey. I have some peanut butter and then I also have some Danish chocolate that we have randomly on hand if I haven't said it already this is kind of a pantry challenge for us we're really just trying to move things out of the pantry so we can really get a handle on this moving thing because we don't plan to take a lot of our food with us so we are trying to eat through it all I'm gonna mix it together here and you will see it just doesn't get the consistency that I want this recipe is the one I always use but I feel like the protein powder kind of messed with this so I ended up adding about two tablespoons of coconut oil and that usually helps uh, get things pretty fluid so I ended up doing that it came together quite nicely I had a parchment lined glass loaf pan and I just press this into here and I put it in the refrigerator you could top this with fresh nuts and dark chocolate or really go anywhere with it I kept it pretty simple and we will cut these up and they will be nice snacks to have it is quite a bit later now that probably took me two and a half to three hours uh, to do but I was momming and doing other things so here is the hummus and then I have those poor man's crab cakes and then in these containers I do have the potato salad but I ended up just chopping up some of our homegrown celery and some of our carrots not from last year uh, they lasted us up until I want to say April our last year's carrots which is pretty awesome awesome so can't wait to grow that on our little homestead in Pennsylvania and then I just did a block of huge mozzarella cheese and put them into these squares and that saves us a bit of money instead of buying cheese sticks I have the sheet pan meal here as well as the sheet pan eggs and that is it that's gonna do it I'm so excited that I got this much food prep accomplished I hope this inspired you to shop on the cheap and use what you have on hand get creative in the kitchen and if ever you have any questions you let me know if you haven't already please subscribe and I will catch you on the next one stay adventurous stay creative bye y'all